All right, everyone. This is uh, Dell Latitude 3490. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the correct settings to enable EVFI USB boot, either to install Windows 10 or 11, whatever. So first of all, you should have one correct bootable USB thumb drive. If you don't know how to create one, you can see the video link would be in the description. So press the power button. Straight away, go back to F12 for the temporary boot option. And from here, at a glance, we can check like what kind of settings that we have. As you can see on the top, it shows uh, blue and then yellow color. And it says boot mode set to UF. UEFI but secure boot is off which is uh, completely incorrect so we're going to get into BIOS setup hit enter and that would take us directly to the main BIOS screen so here are a couple of settings major one we need to change first of all boot sequence as you can see this is selected to UEFI anyway then we're going to go to advanced boot options and enable legacy option ROMs is enable which we have to make it disabled all right as you can see, we ticked out. Now it's fine. Then let's go to secure boot. In security, there is absolutely nothing and only TPM 2.0, which is enabled anyway. So that's all fine. TPM on, enable, correct settings. Now we're going to go to secure boot, which has to be enabled. Let's check, expand it and then tick it. Make a click there, apply, okay. And once we press okay, the, everything would be changed and we can exit it and click F12 again while it restart. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds to show the Dell logo. Keep pressing F12. And now as you can see, it shows EFI and secure boot is enabled, which is fine. Now I selected my USB. Now it should get back to Windows setup page. If you see any sort of, you know, dots or anything, let's say kind of malfunctional graphics, that is absolutely fine. Don't worry. Don't try to forcefully restart it or anything. It would take like a couple of minutes. It depends how fast is your system is. If you do have i5, 7 gen, SSD would be much more faster. So as you can see, the Windows logo, it shows is kind of loading up. And now from here, it's pretty simple. You just need to select the language to install time and currency format, keyboard and import method, and hit next. Once we click next, then install now. We're gonna agree with the terms and condition by clicking agree. Sometimes Windows setup starting page takes about two to three minutes because my laptop does have 2.5 inch SATA hard drive instead of SSD. So accept the terms and condition here and hit next. Now, if you'd like to set up a fresh installation, then you have to go for custom one. And I'm going to keep only one partition and then we're going to click next now this one would take about 10 to 15 minutes as I said it depend on actual your hardware configuration and we'll wait until the end to see if the boot is correct and successfully rebooted just wait and see 